a short 30-minute drive northwest of Tampa on Florida's Gulf Coast, is the city of Dunedin. This is one of the few open waterfront communities from Sarasota to Cedar Key, where high-rise hotels and condo buildings don't obstruct the view. Settled in the mid-1800s, Dunedin is one of the oldest towns in this part of the state. We can thank a pair of Scotsmen who gave the town its name, which comes from the Scottish Gaelic name for Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland. Residents take great pride in their Scottish heritage with a Highland Games and Festival held each year. Today we're going to show you what to do in this funky small town with lots of heart. From where to find the best homemade lemonade and gourmet popcorn, to a museum dedicated to the Fab Four, and the best photo op in town, especially if you're an animal lover. All of that and much more from Dunedin, Florida. Like many historic Florida downtowns, Dunedin grew up along a train line that ran through this area in the late 1800s. This depot dates back to that era and today houses an informative local history museum. Inside are thousands of photographs and artifacts that provide a window on the city's unique past. Running parallel to the old station, where there once were tracks, is now a popular stretch of the Pinellas Trail. One of Florida's most traveled urban trails, it runs more than 40 miles from Tarpon Springs in the north to St. Petersburg in the south, and cuts right through the heart of town. Located conveniently on the trail next to the History Museum in a vintage boxcar that transported citrus is Lane's Lemonade. This locally owned business is bringing citrus back to Dunedin in a big way with three drinks they call their main squeezes, lemonade, limeade, and yes, orangeade. Freshly squeezed and mixed with real cane sugar, these drinks will quench any thirst. I indulged with Lane's Lemon Freeze, soft serve vanilla ice cream blended with their famous lemonade. Lane's also serves up Cuban sandwiches, avocado toast, and a grilled cheese sandwich, which we had on this day. Cheddar, provolone, and Swiss cheese melted together between two buttery toasted slices of bread. Mmm, comfort food that never gets old, and they do it the best here at Lane's Lemonade. Who doesn't love a good photo op? Downtown Dunedin offers one of the best, especially if you're an animal lover. Painted on the wall of Skip's Bar along Douglas Avenue is one of our favorite murals in Florida. Welcome to Dog Eden was started by artist Anna Hamilton in 2010 as a fundraiser for a local pet rescue. More than a thousand animals have been painted into this colorful, whimsical mural that now wraps around the backside of the building. Pets of all types have gotten into the action, including cats, hamsters, birds, and even a pig. Tucked away inside a suite on the second floor of Sterling Commons is something you might not expect to find in Dunedin. It's a small museum dedicated to the most influential rock band of all time, the Beatles. The Penny Lane Museum is the impressive collection of a local doctor who is a Fab Four super fan. You'll find all types of memorabilia featuring John, George, Paul, and Ringo, including some items that actually belong to members of the band. The museum is free, but donations are always welcome. A short drive north of downtown is Andrews Memorial Chapel. This historic Carpenter Gothic church was constructed in 1888 and has been moved a number of times for the sake of preservation. Today, it sits outside Hammock Park and is a popular wedding venue. Near 
the intersection of Main Street and Broadway is Harley's Gourmet Popcorn and Cider Shop. Whiteboards inside give the store a comfortable New England vibe while the popcorn is made in small batches every day with the best seasonings, flavorings, and spices. My favorite was beer pretzel with cider donut coming in a close second. And don't forget to try Harley's Original Cider Lemonade. You won't find it anywhere else in the country. Nothing goes better with popcorn than a baseball game. Take in an exhibition game at TD Ballpark, the spring training home of the Toronto Blue Jays, since the late 1970s. While it may share the name of a famous ballpark, the newly remodeled Fenway Hotel has music at its heart. This iconic structure of the Jazz Age is our favorite place to stay when visiting Dunedin. A boutique-style hotel, its beautifully appointed rooms provide for a comfortable night stay, while its rooftop bar is the perfect place for dinner, a few drinks, and a sunset over the Gulf Intracoastal. Inside the lobby, there's even a display from the hotel's Prohibition days. Hope you've enjoyed this quick look at things to do here in Dunedin. Have something I should include next time? Leave it in the comment section down below and you might just see it in a future video here on the channel. As always, thank you so much for watching. From Dunedin, Florida, happy gallivanting.